Hey guys, Hope here with the vlog. So, I want to talk about the situation that happened today. So we have this thing called Shattered Dreams at my school. And, I mean, I already knew about it. Like, I knew from the beginning of the year we were going to do it this year. I just didn't know when. And this week, I had, like, I have connections. And I already knew what was going to happen today. But I just didn't know what time today. And so, so we had this thing, Shattered Dreams. It teaches you, it's like a stimulation and it's reenactment of people that are drunk driving and it'd be like under especially underage drunk driving and like it shows what you what they actually go through and it it was really scary for me because I had a lot of people that I loved get in the car accident just because of drunk driving and there was a possibility this summer that I, I probably would have died because of it. Um, but I'll, I'll say that later, after I tell this story. But today was bad for me. It was like the worst day. It was the worst day for me. I didn't... There was no words to explain how I felt. Because like I was one of the first ones out there of the students... I was one of the first ones out there when I got to the scene. I mean, I knew it was fake, but to me it felt real. To me it felt real because, like, that could have been me inside that car. And I just took it really, really to heart, and it, I took it so seriously while other people were just making fun of it and saying, oh, this is just fake. But first of all... They're not taking the time and decency to actually put it in their point of view that, hey, I could have been in their spot. Um, and so, after all that happened, like, the helicopter came, the hearse came, I got to see my friends that died in that, in that crash, and, like, it was really hard for me. Cause I can imagine what other people went through with this and another thing like it was just heartbreaking and so after it was done and over with like I was shaking the whole time my friend held on to me for dear life and I was shaking the whole time because I was in shock I, I felt like this was in a real situation even though it was a reenactment and I felt so so in shock and like I was numb and I was like I told my I told Brianna I was like you know what this is all gonna hit me later because that's how I am like if I'm in a situation if I'm in a situation none of it will hit me until later I will like I'll deal with it right now because I'm my adrenaline pumps through me but I won't let it all hit me until later and so that's what happened when I, when we all went back to class for third period, and I just broke down and cried. I went to class, and I listened to, like, everyone was talking about it, and that was really overwhelming for me. And I just, I just couldn't handle it, so I went inside and just sat there on the floor and started crying. I mean, people came up to at, and asked me what was wrong. I didn't really feel like talking about it until Carly came up to me. And Carly was, she listened to me through all of that, and, like, like I said, she's, like, the truest friend I have. And she just sat there and let me cry, and she actually uh, played a song, and she tried singing, but, um, <laughs> she, she tried to get me up, too. Like, I was like, I'm so stubborn that I did not want to get up and go out there quite yet I didn't want to be strong for the world quite yet and yeah she was there through everything especially and then like right afterwards 
in fifth period. I saw the Grim Reaper thing and I started freaking out. I didn't know what to do. I, like I just didn't know what to do and so I went to the bathroom, started crying, and then I went back to my class and started doing my Spanish test and my head wasn't there. I probably failed the test because of it. And like my head wasn't in it. I, like it was so hard to think. And another thing that so I was like, I finished my test, went to the counselor's office, and just, like, I told Miss Pageant everything, like, what I was experiencing and going through. And then after that, um, after that, I talked to her, and I had Miss Pageant call her, because, call Carly. So that's what happened, and she confirmed me again. And like I really needed that. Like I really needed to have her there, and she was the one that was there, especially her. And but yeah. Um, but no. See, what happened was, all right. Last summer, me and my brothers got in, went to this birthday party. Shut up. Anyways. So me and my brothers went to this birthday party over the summer and there was drinking involved and my ex-boyfriend, he was drinking and I'm not going to mention names or anything but my ex-boyfriend was in it and he got in the, he took us home and we had to be there at a certain time, be home at a certain time and it was really like we were five minutes to being late and so we got in the car and he sped. 80, 90 miles, maybe 100 miles an hour down that road, down this road, and it's really curvy. And like we skidded, and I, me and my brothers were scared for life. And that's what, that's another thing that, that really triggered my feelings was that because you know what, I could have, that could have been me. Like I could have died that summer. And I wouldn't be living until now, or I wouldn't be living to this day. And so, like, all of that just, all of that just, that's why I really took it at heart and I went to the counselors, like I was in the counselors all day today. Well, all of half of the, or the rest of the day I should say, from, I didn't go to lunch. And like, I'm still starving because I barely ate today. Like I didn't really eat. But I did drink a lot of water. But um, yeah, this hit me really hard. Like, it really hit me hard. And it just made me more upset that people were making fun of it. Like. Like this person I know was like, they took a photo of the vehicle and they're like, oh, that's the new 2017 new convertible. And I was like, well, dude, really? Like a lot of people were mad. And they were just sitting there making fun of it. Shadow stop. And I was just, I was really heartbroken about it. But I don't know, Carly, I don't know what I would have done if it was, she wasn't there to help me through any of this. Like she was, she was there for me through all of this. She was there both of the times I broke down. She was the first one I told about anything. She was the only one I told anything about, like what, what I was going through and experiencing besides my counselor. Like she was the first one I went to through all of this. Like I didn't want to talk to anyone but her because I already knew what she was gonna say and I knew she was gonna help me and comfort me <sighs> because she's that caring and um, she really came through and helped me with this. And I love her for that because. I mean, a lot of people would have done it, but I just wanted her to help comfort me because I care about her so much. And I don't know, Miss Pageant, she was, she was, I thought she was gonna cry, honestly, when I was telling her all the, all the stories. And um, yeah, it was just crazy. But oh, uh, sorry for rambling. Like I just, I just. And oh yeah, tomorrow's the memorial service, and I don't want to go. I honestly don't want to go because I'm feel like I'm having a complete breakdown and meltdown of the whole thing. And it was just, and I don't. People are just. Tomorrow, people are probably gonna just make fun of it again, and that's disrespectful in my opinion. Because, dude, like I said, what if that was you in that position? Would you be laughing now? I don't know. It's just, 
don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna end this because this is like 10 minutes. So yeah, bye guys. Hope for now.